Hey, it's me. Um, Evan is not here at the moment. He went to go get, well, look at a dryer for us because one, in Korea, hardly anyone has a dryer. Everybody, usually most everybody uses a drying rack and the washing machine isn't that great. It usually takes about two to three days for the clothes to dry once you get out of the washing machine you put it on the drying rack so he went to go look at a dryer from um, some person that's selling it on craigslist so we moved in last night our apartment is a mess you have to excuse me i have a sore throat i've been sick so we moved in last night um I started my new job on Monday and my school is actually half a block across the street so I have to walk like across this wide street and then about a block, not really a block, but maybe a half a block down and my school is on the fifth floor of the building and um it's called Genesis School. It's a really nice school. I really like it. Um, I teach kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. And I, I just really enjoy it. It's really fun. I didn't think I would like it too much, but like, I mean like as in teaching younger kids. But um, the environment is really great. And all the co-workers and my boss and her husband has been a really great help. Like, not just with, like, school, but with helping with the apartment and anything that I need from the apartment. Or anything, like, any kind of help, they will help. So, like, it's just amazing, like... The last boss that we had in Gonglin was not like that. Like, she was nice, but she was just, she was kind of rude. Well, a, really rude. But anyways, I thought I'd show you the apartment. It's still a mess because we have not, like, unpacked anything. So, we've... We have, like, stuff everywhere, so I'm just wondering you, it's a really nice apartment. Um, it's kind of in bad shape because the girl that lived here before did not take care of some things. Uh, I had to come in after work last night and clean because of reasons, like, the cleaning crew that was supposed to come from the school, or not from the school, but my boss that hired uh, they did not come. So I've cleaned up the kitchen and the floor, but I did not clean up the bathroom. So I am going to show just a little bit of the apartment. Okay, so here's the door. This goes to the hallway. And you just kind of like do this and open the door and it goes into the hallway. Um, there's a key code that you have to punch to get in here. So, um, we don't have actual keys. So here, notice there's all these wonderful things here. People slip them under the door. In Japan and Korea, you have to take your shoes off at the door. Because you can't walk on the floor with them. It's a custom, so you have to take your shoes off. Um, if you notice... My shoes are undone a certain way. Most people, you know, put the bows in the back and they just slip them off. It's really easy. So there's stuff on the floor. The apartment has not been cleaned yet. Well, I cleaned a little bit of it yesterday, but I mean like we haven't unpacked anything. So this is the kitchen. We had pizza last night from Costco. And it was bulgogi pizza, which was amazing. So this is our kitchen. That's our sink. It's kind of a small sink. I mean, it's okay, but it's still kind of small. 
You have to excuse me, I'm losing my voice from like talking today. Um, I've been sick and teaching kind of ruined it today. So this is one of the cabinets in our kitchen. You lift the cabinet up and there's plates, um, cups, a bowl, and shot glasses. The girl left the shot glasses here because the school does not recommend drinking. So apparently she didn't want her shot glasses. She left them here. So that's just one cabinet. Then up above it, there's another cabinet that you just kind of like open. And it's just more storage. You just put more stuff up there. Our light in here is out. We have to get a light bulb for it. So this is just like the cabinet down here under the under the sink. It has cleaning supplies down there. There's like cleaning supplies that Janice left, which was the girl that worked at the school before me. And her contract was up. I never met her. She left about a week before I got hired at the school. So um more drawers. This is drawers in the kitchen. So Utensils, more stuff, stuff that she left. I don't know what any of this stuff is. So this is like bath fizzers apparently. And paper. And more papers, jazz English. Freestyle conversations using real world English. I don't know what that's doing in the kitchen, but, and this, it's green. Nasty. Um, tissues. This is our washing machine for our clothes. It's um very small. It's extremely small. Like you could probably wash maybe three pairs of pants and three shirts. I don't know right off. We haven't used it yet, so we'll see this weekend whenever we wash clothes. This is our stove. Most stoves in Korea are gas. This stove is electric. So that's really good. I had to clean it. It still looks gross, but it looks a lot better than it did yesterday. It was just plain out gross last night. So this is the vent. It's very loud. Okay. This right here is the drying rack. We, um, like I said, in Korea, most people do not own dryers. They own a drying rack. Dryers are extremely expensive here. And, um, you just like stand it up in the room and you put these out and then you put their clothes up on it. We use hangers to hang our clothes on on it because there's two of us and it just saves a lot more space. So this is the closet. It's right across from the kitchen. <clears throat> and um, we're going to hang our coats and our other stuff on here. So another thing. Right beside the closet is the bathroom. The bathroom has not been clean. I have not cleaned it yet. So maybe this weekend. So this is the toilet. There's not a handle here. You press this button and it flushes. It's kind of cool. At least it's not a hole in the floor. So this is the sink right here. The sink is kind of gross, especially right in that area. That's my hairbrush. And of course, this is the shower. Most people in Korea has a shower head over the sink. We had that at the last two places that we've stayed here in Korea. And the water goes all over the floor. Like usually the drain is down here in the middle of the floor and the water goes down and down into the drain. So whenever we come to the bathroom, we usually have to take our pants off so our legs of our pants do not get wet. 
So this is the shower. It has a little partition in here. I took a shower last night. There was very low water on the floor, which I was extremely happy about. This is the shower. There's two loofahs. The purple one is my boyfriend's Evan, and the blue one is mine. And um, this is the shower. The shower head works great. Like it's high pressured. It's just wonderful. So the drain is gross. Had to clean it out. It's pretty nice. This is the door and it has a seal on it so the water doesn't leak out. It's really nice. Okay, next thing. I'm gonna go back into the hallway here. Okay, this is, we're walking out of the kitchen and into our main bedroom. This is like the main bedroom. Well, not really the main bedroom. This is for like, most people use this area for a dining table, a TV, and a couch. But um, we decided to move our bed, well the queen size bed from up, si up top, down here, because of the space up top. So I'll, t I'll show you that in just a bit. Okay, this is more stuff that we brought over from our apartment. We have not unpacked it yet. So this is all stuff. Um, we brought this wardrobe from the apartment that Evan had in Yimshan or Goonshan. I can't pronounce it correctly, so it's pretty nice. He packed our bedding in here to move. I was not able to help him pack because we did it all of a sudden and I was still at school teaching. So this is more of our stuff. That's his computer right there. And our bed, that's my computer right there. Screen's off, I have the music playing. So, this is our luggage that we brought over. Notice everything is still in the, in the luggage cases. We have not unpacked anything. It's only 11 o'clock on Thursday at night, and we moved in about 8.30, 9 o'clock last night. So we've only been here for a little over 24 hours. And that right there, that box right there, that's a transformer where we can lower the voltage for plugs. This is more stuff that we brought over here. Bags of, oh, that's our wine that came from home. That's my book bag, my laptop bag. That right there is toilet paper, ironing board, more luggage, that's my sweater that I wore today, and the drying rack that was here whenever we moved in, Janice left that as well. The TV, that's not ours, it was here whenever we moved in, and the table, which is broken, don't ask. Um, there's dead flowers over there that Janice left whenever she moved out. Now, we did get free furniture yesterday. Um, the man that moved us last time, Young Ho, um, he moved us this time as well. And we told him, well, he asked if we had any furniture because at the moment we were only moving mattresses and our clothes. And we told him that we didn't really have anything other than that. So. This last time, whenever he moved us from Gumchan to Bay Baesuk, <laughs> I can't pronounce the name where I live, so it's B A E K S E O K. So he got, he brought us this. It's a vanity, and he said, whenever he came up to um, bring our luggage, he's like, Risa, I have surprise for you. So I was like, well, what is it? He brought this, which I had no idea. It's a vanity. He said, do you like it? And I was like, of course, it's awesome. So it's really cool. And he also brought us this bookshelf. So I thought that was really nice. Evan thought it was really nice. It was really awesome that he did that. 
And then this right here is our second floor, right up there. You're gonna go, you're gonna walk up the stairs, and that's our loft, or our bird's nest. And it's kind of hard to get up here, there's no railing. And if you have really bad balance like I do, you're kind of screwed, but. Okay, so I'm gonna walk up here very slowly so I can show you the space up here. There's plastic on the stairs of that state. Okay, so these steps are like extremely steep. No railing, no nothing to help. So this is like the top of the stairs right here. And um, this is the loft. We have our two mattresses here. These are the mattresses that we brought over here. The bed that's downstairs was here from last time. It's a queen size bed. And um, it's queen size in Korea. But in America, it'd be known as a full bed. So this is the loft. This is why we decided not to stay up here because the ceiling is really low. That's more cabinet space. We're planning on moving these beds over towards the wall back there and possibly putting our drying rack up here so the clothes can dry while we're at school. And I'll just show you the view from up here. This is the view. Okay. And you can see pretty much the whole apartment from up here. I'm just sitting up in the bird's nest. So, it's pretty nice. It's really nice and big. Oh, that's a light. That thing hanging from the ceiling, this light. We have two side lights there. And we also have another ceiling light right there. And that thing over on the wall close to the corner is the aircon and I guess I will get down and show you what it looks like outside of my apartment it's um very pretty outside at nighttime I guess you could say like it's really pretty outside because it's very light, there's a lot of lights outside, and it's just very city-like. I've never actually lived in a big city, so whenever I think of city, of the word city, I think of lights and busy streets, taxis, all kinds of stuff like that. So... I've always wanted to live in a big city. I'm from a very small town in South Carolina, in America, and we don't have things like this. We have a city, but it's really boring and plain. So I'll just show you. This is out one window. So those are lights. That right there with the purple, like the thing is gonna turn colors, that's a hotel. If I'm not mistaken, that's Hotel Mirabelle. Mir Mirabelle, if I'm not mistaken. That down there, the colorful building with the lights, colored lights. That's Home Plus and Mega Box. Home Plus is a grocery store and a department store. It's pretty tall, and Mega Box is a movie theater. So there's more lights there. And we're up on the seventh floor. It's really awesome. The streets are very deserted right now because it's almost 11.30 at night. There is a man down there walking. Like, I don't know if you can see him from down here, but he's walking down there. And... Is this? Cars are coming. Here. Okay, more lights. And down here, more lights. You can't see the building that I work in, but it's not too far from here like um that crosswalk down there it's white i have to walk across that crosswalk 
and go down about a half a block and my school is well I'll just give you an idea. The school is one, two, three buildings down from the crosswalk. So I don't have to walk that far. Um, Evan, on the other hand, has to take subway, take a subway train to Gumchan, and it takes about 50 minutes to get there. It's, um, I don't like the, uh, the travel time. Because earlier this week, before we moved, I had to do it. And, uh, yeah, the travel time sucks. But that's the apartment. I promised my mom I'd make a video of it. So she could see. Again, I'm sorry for my voice. I'm sick. And, um, talking and teaching is not helping my voice. So... For now, I'm going to say goodnight, because I have to get ready for bed and go to sleep, because I have school in the morning. TGIF. Again, goodnight.